kisses me every we haven't told this to anybody. Yeah. He kisses me every single night before we go to bed. Even when I go to bed earlier at Even night. Even if she's mad at me, I'll still do and it. And I'm like. <laughs> yeah, she'll move her head. And I'm like, come here, give me Yeah, it. he would like so, literally I would say that. me down and like kiss me. A few moments later. It's all good just a week ago. I don't have to play no games with nobody, man. And she respected that, and it was what it was, you know. Um, I was waiting on the bus stop. We, we, I was at my first film. Her sister and her drove by. They saw me waiting. They asked me to give me a ride. I was just, like, embarrassed. I was downtown. Yeah. They gave me a ride, and we were friends ever since. Oh, cool. Took me to Inglewood. So that's how that relationship started. And yeah. we were friends, and we just started dating or nothing. Um, and just I knew Tia was the one for me when she was in my corner when I moved to LA. When I moved to Inglewood and I didn't have like, I had like two pair of drawers to my name. <laughs> I was dirt poor, mm -hmm. I didn't have anything and she, she appreciated everything like for what it was and she loved me for me. And then I knew once I can get financially in a better situation that I'm gonna buy her a ring and that's gonna be my wife. Mm -hmm. And here we are. Aww. So that's when I knew she was the one for me. Don't make me cry. Cause it was real love, you mm -hmm. know? And um, it's not perfect now. No, it's not. We might fight when I get home. <laughs> but listen, no, and that's there are love. moments when he gets on my last nerve. Fellas, it's not wise to meet a woman when you're in a vulnerable state because you don't know a woman's motive and the reality is if a woman is in the phase of her life where she's looking for a husband she's gonna line you up and you don't even know that she's lining you up you're thinking you met a great woman the whole time she's just being a crutch to your need so it's gonna feel like you found a one but whole time She's just using you. And when she's done using you, she will return back to the streets. And that's why it's very important for a man to really observe a woman. Don't think, oh, because I'm down bad right now and she's supporting me while I'm down bad, she's a good woman. No, she caught a man that all she got to do is be a crutch to him and he's going to think she's a good woman. And usually women... When they are in that phase, they are usually on their best behavior. But it's not who they are, but to accomplish being a wife right now, they're going to pretend. You know, I've never dated. That's right. I have never dated. <laughs> Corey was my first. Right. Yes. Everything. I, I met Corey when I turned 20. And I lost my virginity at 25. There. Was that it? <laughs> she let that man wait for five years so of course he's thinking she's the one plus she still got her v card and then we got married boom i'm tia the one with the ring oh so don't get it twisted okay tia. that's my sister the one without the ring i'm married yeah. uh oh uh oh put it on the box really tia the one that's married okay okay and keep all the kids with us <laughs> Obviously, being married meant a lot to her. And fellas, you all have to understand that there are a lot of women who care about the title of marriage so much because they don't want to feel like a single woman out here. So they will marry a man that they are not into just to get that title of being a wife. And you don't want to be a victim to a woman like that. Because right after she got married and had kids. Look at what she did. Tia Mowry files for divorce. Tia Mowry has decided to file for divorce from her husband, Corey Hardrick, after 14 years of marriage. She took to Instagram on Tuesday to share the news. According to legal docs obtained by TMZ, the Sister Sister star filed documentations in Los Angeles on Tuesday, citing irreconcilable differences as the reason for the end. 
how did you know that it was time? Ah, that's a really good question. To take that route? Um, I knew when I really started to focus on my happiness. Mm. I feel like women, we tend to focus on everybody else's happiness, um, making sure that everybody else is okay, meaning our children. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Meaning, you know, our children, our friends, our, you know, family. But at the end of the day, it's about self-love. And when you start to really work on yourself, love yourself, know your value, know your worth, and then all of a sudden there's this awakening. I'm not ashamed to say it. I'm in my hoe phase right now. Happiness over everything. You all got to be careful, bro, because women are emotional creatures. Now, when she wanted to get married, that was going to bring her happiness. But now that she accomplished that, happiness to her now is to find new dino, find a new man to smash. That's what she meant by awakening. And that's the reality of a woman who is for the streets, fellas. No matter how hard you try, she will return back to those streets. Even if you try to tie her down by having two, three babies with her, that woman will return back to the streets if that's who she is. I'm just keeping it real. But nevertheless, fellas, like I always tell you guys, the signs are always there. It's like, you know, it's like if it's I, I can't even I can't even visualize myself you know, without Corey. <laughs> okay. And that's just, you know, everything's not perfect. You know, marriage is work. And that's... Marriage is work. Is. I'm not here. Let me finish. Go ahead, sorry. I'm not going to be here like, you know, it's work. And that's... Marriage is work. Is. I'm not here. Let me finish. Go ahead, sorry. I'm not gonna be here like, you know. If you wanna know a woman's interest level in a relationship, pay attention to how she reacts when her man speaks. If she allow her man to speak gracefully and appreciate his words and sit attentively and listen with a smile on her face, that's a woman who is in love. But when a woman is not in love, she can't pretend her actions will show you that she don't care what you have to say and it first starts with cutting you off when you speak and then it just get worse but the bottom line is she don't respect you and once a woman don't respect you anymore bro she is as good as gone and it will be wise as a man if you peep that your woman don't respect you to leave while you ahead because it's just going to get worse. Once your woman starts disrespecting you, it's time to pack it up. What do you do for work? Do you like it? Do you like it? She couldn't wait to return back to the streets. Fellas, the hoops never fails. First date was so nice, we got to do it twice. Hey. Boom, number two. <laughs> Want me to kiss you? <laughs> oh. No, 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 go ahead. It's just amazing how some women will ruin a 10 year plus marriage just to get back to the streets. And this is what happens when they realize the grass is not greener on the other side. How hard is it in the dating oh, world now? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what is it like out there for, for, for a single woman? Do we have a shot woman? of tequila? No. <laughs> <laughs> it is very tough. I will say I've, I've only been in the dating world for, I want to say three months now. Mm -hmm. And it is exhausting. I like, it's exhausting. I want to throw the towel in. <laughs> I'm like, what is wrong with, you know? <laughs> uh, you know, and I will say this. Someone had told me and I was, I, I, I wanted to be like, no, I, I disagree with you and I don't want to believe it. They were like, you just, cause I, my, you know, my last relationship when dating was, you know, when I was, you know, dating this person, it was beautiful. It was amazing. It was wonderful. There was courting that was, you know, involved. Um, and I was saying how I feel like that's no longer, you know, 
uh, present, meaning like people just don't court each other anymore. And it also, I think once you're there, you're sort of 100% who you are. Mm -hmm. And that way, the person who, mm -hmm. the next person in your life who may, whenever that day comes, <laughs> will be meeting you, yes. like the real you. I went out on this date with this guy, uh -huh. never met him. I just saw him on the app. Uh -huh. And we meet up at a restaurant. As I take off my makeup, I would share some of my horror stories. Of course, no names will be named. <laughs> I decided to go out on this date with this one guy. We decided to meet at a restaurant. And I was like, okay, you know, fine. Let's try that. Do you talk about your transition? And I like yes. that you use that word. Yes. Do, you not, do you not use the D word? I think it's so loaded. It has such a stigma. So you're rebranding it. it. I am. I was there at the BET Awards. Uh, you yes, were there. Yes. Corey's there yes, with your son, yes, Cree. Yes. We are still a family. We're going to Disneyland together. The four of you. Yes, for Halloween. I'm not saying that it's easy because, again, I want to be transparent. Co-parenting, it has its rough patches. I think that we are doing a great job, and the reason why I say that mm -hmm. is because family and our kids are what is most important. This is how it usually goes. A bird will leave a good man. She will leave her husband. She will leave her family to return back to the streets, thinking that some sucker out there will wife her up. And usually the men that these women leave their husbands for refuse to wife them. They don't see them as wifey material. And when that happens, they try to get back with their husband. That's when they want to come back home. And this is why you should never take a woman back if she leaves you. Huge change in our family and in our life. I've always wanted the family dynamic of having a mom and a dad in one household. This is how a bird acts when she ruins a great marriage she's gonna cry about it she's gonna want to play the victim she's gonna want you to feel sympathetic for her but don't forget she was the one who filed for divorce and left this good man left her family to return back to the streets now she's crying and saying that she understand the importance of family family is what matters but when the streets was calling her name, she turned her back on her family and her husband, bro. And just based on that, that's a woman who is in discipline. That's a woman who is committed to the streets. And if you take her back, best believe it will happen again. Because what it is, right now, she just craves having a husband who will court her and things like that. Because don't forget, marriage is very important to her because she decided to marry a man that she didn't love. So now she's just out in the streets, lonely and desperate. And that's when you gotta leave her alone. The worst thing a man could do is to take a woman like this back. It's very unfortunate, but when she decided to go to the streets, she wasn't thinking about her family. And now she got to pay the price. I mean, it is what it is. But fellas, what y'all could learn from this is simple. Pay attention to the signs. The signs are always there. Never tolerate disrespect from a woman. And once a woman leave you to return back to the streets, never take her back. For me, I think the secret to a successful marriage is forgiveness. That shit is crazy. I really do. There are going to be times when you do something to someone that hurts their feelings. <laughs> whether it's an action or whether it's just something that you say, and then you have to be willing to forgive. If you haven't yet, go get you some of that merch. Y'all already know, don't feed the birds. That's what it is. We don't feed the birds over here. So if you rock with your boy, 
Go get you some of that good merch. 